Hey, Fee. Hey, Tracy. What should we do today? Let's watch this hip TV show with girls like you and me. It's <laughs> for the computer savvy. Hello and welcome back to Geek Girl TV. As usual, I'm your Geek Girl host, Steve Park, and my theme song was created by The Days, which you can check out at myspace.com slash thedaysgirls. So a few weeks ago, I mentioned that I was going to the Winnies. And I did. And in case you don't know, the Winnies is the awards ceremony where podcasters recognize other podcasters. And it was a whole lot of fun. I got to meet a ton of cool people. The whole thing was kind of driven by Irina Slutsky. And if you want to find out more information, go to youarethewinner.org. But anyway, I'm a little bit of a nerd when it comes to social interaction. And since I'm a little bit of a wallflower, I don't know if there was any pictures of me, per se, from the Winnies. However, there were quite a few pictures of this girl. I have no idea who she is, but if you recognize her, let me know. Stranger still is the fact that she's holding my trophy, which was presented to me by the nice guys who have a podcast called thehusband.org. As you can see, it is the Excelsior Award for Outstanding Achievement. And on the bottom here, it's got my name, Eve Park, and Geek Girl 2007. So I'm sure you can tell, but this thing is huge. In fact, it was the biggest award of the evening. They've taken a lamp here and they've run an extension cord through it so that the idea is this very sturdy piece of furniture, basically, um, can be a gadget charger. You can fit your, your gadgets here in the wooden bowl and, uh, and plug them in. And then on top, of course, there is a working lightsaber. <laughs> Too cool. The guys at the husband definitely did their homework. So a very special thank you to Ben and Chris who gave me the trophy. And as you can see, I got it back home to Colorado, which was amazing. I make miracles happen. It's a good thing I have that hobbit bag of holding, huh? But I do love it and I couldn't wait to bring it into the office and show it off to everyone. And here it remains on permanent display, where I indeed use it as a gadget charger. In other news, Paul sends me an article about the webcomic XKCD. And if you haven't checked out XKCD yet, well, just go. Just go. Don't even bother finishing this episode. Just go. But according to the article, XKCD, a webcomic peopled with love-struck stick figures, reveals in the human side of geekdom. Build as a webcomic of romance, sarcasm, math, and language, it's a peculiar blend of whimsy, programming language, and speculation about relationships. Apparently you're not sold yet because you're still watching my episode 53. Well, here are two of the more famous comics to get you hooked. If you haven't seen this strip before, I highly recommend that you pause right now in whatever video player you're using to watch me and take the time to read it and laugh before continuing on. I don't think it's too much to ask you to pause, is it? If you were completely passive in your consumption of media, you'd be watching TV right now, and not my podcast. Anyway, here's one of the more sweeter strips. I also recommend that you pause for this one, but the punchline reads, somewhere at the edge of the bell curve is the girl for me. Sound familiar? Well, if you find yourself pondering algorithms, for everyday life, everything from traffic lights to dating pools, then XKCD is definitely the comic for you. And actually, if you check out his blog right now, link from the main page, XKCD, um, there is this great article about how they built a ball pit in their house instead of a couch. And at the moment, I'm giving it some serious thought. And lastly, I just want to tell you about snowmanconstructionkit.com. You can build your own snowmen and send me the link because I will show my favorites on the show. That's all I have this week. See you next time. Excelsior. Okay, so I recognize Vin Vin from 
Bonjour America, but who is that girl? Yeah.